few things that I would like to share with you. I, I want to start with uh, racism. I mean, just just pure, raw, good old fashioned or terrible old fashioned racism, which is uh, has become the centerpiece of the entire Republican campaign. The, the racist element to the, the whole Muslim fearing, banning thing, the racist piece to the whole immigrant bashing thing, and now the racist ads that are being run, the racist behavior that's happening. Um, all across the country, we're seeing, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to get through all these things, but I, I think what we have here right now is trickle-down racism. It's coming down from Donald Trump and, and into the, and, and it has become, uh, you know, I mean, racism has been acceptable for the Republican Party since the days of Nixon, you know, back in the 60s. But, but, it, it, but now, it, but, but it was always in code, you know, it was always a little, uh, subtle enough that uh, it was hard to, to point at it and say, see, now it's just right up front. It's right out there for you to see this trickle down racism. Uh, over at Huffington Post, here's a running list of a, racist attacks on candidates of color. And they just, they go through the, you know, uh, Gabby Salinas, a Democratic candidate for state Senate in Tennessee's 31st district. She's an immigrant and a woman of color. So with the Republican running against her, his, his ads say, he's from here. He's one of us. And it shows a picture of him and his, this nice white boy and his nice white blonde wife and their nice blonde dog. <laughs> Honest to God, uh, the Sri uh, Preston Kul Kulnari, a Democratic candidate for Texas, is 22nd. Again, a, a person of Indian ancestry, but, a, you know, an, an American, right? But the Republican, Pete Olson, I wonder if this uh, in liberal Indo-American is a carpetbagger and his money's coming from overseas. Right. I mean, I, just, I, I, I'm not going to go through the whole list. It's, it's, it would take a half hour. There's this long list of just explicitly, overtly, clearly racist ads running all across the country, all of them being run by Republican candidates against Democrats. Meanwhile, in, in uh, Georgia right now, Gwinnett County is a small piece of Georgia. I lived in Georgia for 13 years. Louise and I you know, lived there. We raised our kids there. Uh, Gwinnett County accounts for 12% of Georgia's mail-in ballots, but it's one of the most diverse, it is the most diverse county in the state. And it is now responsible for 40% 40 so far of all the rejections of mail-in ballots, because when you send in a mail-in ballot, you have to put your signature on it. And if the signature doesn't exactly match your signature in the voter rolls, maybe it's missing a period. Maybe you forgot to put, to spell out your middle name, or maybe on the voter rolls, it doesn't have your middle name, or maybe it's just the first letter of your middle name, with or without a period, whatever. 40% of the spoiled ballots in the state are coming out of this one county. And there's no procedure to fix this. There's no, there's no appealing it. And in fact, uh, the, 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 the reality is this, this uh, from this piece over at slate.com, by uh, Mark Joseph Stern. In states with string stringent mismatch rules, a handful of election officials are frequently responsible for the vast majority of ballots voided for mismatch, and these officials routinely work in counties with large minority communities. Bingo. So what do we have here? Racism. I mean, just, just stark, naked, pure racism. Antonia uh, Nori Far Farzan is uh, asking the question, are we going too cute with this stuff? You know, there's this story of, of, uh, out of Michigan where uh, this uh, young man, Mark Peoples, he, lived in, he lives in Detroit, and there was a, a, a vacant lot across the street from his house, and he turned it into a garden for the community. But there's some white people, three white women who live in the neighborhood, and they and one of them, Deborah Nash, has called the police on him dozens of times for gardening while black. And a Michigan judge yesterday tossed out, she actually filed charges against him for stalking her because he was gardening while black. 
And the judge not only tossed out the charges, but said that Deborah Nash, the woman who called the police on Mr. Peoples, on Mark Peoples, that she should face the same charges. Now, it's going to be up to, you know, up to Peoples to see if he's going to, you know, call this on her. And then, you know, at the same time, we get these, these just absolutely obscene ads. You know, I, I think I have, I have lost that one. I had, I had an ad that I was going to play for you, but, um, you know, it's, I, I apparently have closed the tab. Um, but yeah, you've, uh, Nate, you've got one. Uh, this is, well, this isn't about race. This, uh, so let's hold off on that one. That, that's uh, Rick Scott. But uh, I, th there, is, there is this ad plane right now where it's like basically these, these oh, you can pull it. My name is Ronald Reagan. Wow, how did that happen? I have been asked across the street from his house. No, we don't And he turned it into Reagan. a garden. Thank you very much. For the community. No, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that, uh, no. in any case, the, the, uh, so they're, they're asking the question, golf cart Gale, permit Patty, barbecue Becky. This all started with barbecue Becky, you know, Becky kind of a, you know, the clueless white girl, right? Uh, barbecue Becky, uh, Cornerstone Caroline. Are these names too cute? These people are racists. And if the names are too cute, then what should we be calling these largely white women who are calling police on mostly, uh, well, sometimes African-American women, sometimes African, in some cases, kids? You know, do you have a permit for that lemonade stand? That was permit patty. But this, this is the, 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 the key to the Republicans' electoral strategy. I mean, you know, this is, the, this is Stephen Miller on steroids, right? Stephen Miller's third grade teacher calls him a strange dude who ate glue, Nikki Fisk. She taught him 25 years ago. She says, you remember that character in Peanuts, the one called Pigpen with a dust cloud flying around him? That was Stephen Miller at age eight. I was always trying to get him to clean up his desk. He always had stuff mashed in there. He was a strange dude. I remember he'd take a bottle of glue and he would pour the glue on his arm, let it dry, peel it off, and then eat it. She said he had such strange personal habits that he was isolated and off by himself all the time. This is the guy, you know, along with the, with the rest of Trump, who is like driving this whole thing. You got the, you got the ad, Nate? Yeah. Okay, here it is. Let's, let's hear this. This is... What do you think about what's happening in Washington? Our Congressman French Hill and the Republicans know that it's dangerous to change the presumption of innocence to a presumption of guilt, especially for black men. If the Democrats can do that to a white justice of the Supreme Court with no evidence, no corroboration, and all of her witnesses, including her best friend, say it didn't happen, what will happen to our husbands, our fathers, or our sons when a white girl lies on them? Girl, white Democrats will be lynching black folk again. Honey, I've always told my son, don't be messing around with that. If you get caught, she will cry rape. I'm voting to keep Congressman French Hill and the Republicans because we have to protect our men and boys. We can't afford to let white Democrats take us back to bad old days of race verdicts, life sentences, and lynchings when a white girl screams rape. Paid for by black Americans for the president's agenda. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's isn't committee. This, isn't this strange? I mean, you know, this, it, it's... It, I, it, 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 I, I don't even know where to begin with that. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Brett Kavanaugh grievance ad that's been turned into, into a racial issue accusing white Democrats of wanting to put black men in jail or lynch them. V you know, voiced by uh, what sounds like a couple of black women. I mean, this is just like, yeah, I'm sure, you know, professional actors who got paid to say it, I, but still, what do we do with this? So anyhow, there's, there's, there's a lot going on. I, yeah, I have, I have a few other stories that I wanted to rant about, but I think that trickle-down racism is going to do one of two things to this country, and, and maybe both simultaneously. It's going to destroy us. It's going to tear us apart. And it's also going to wake up a lot of people to how evil and cynical and sinister this Republican strategy actually is. We'll be back.